be here. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Um, I will present to you today a different perspective about addictions, particularly alcoholism. The dual commitment <clears throat> of a naval outpatient clinic of the Brazilian Navy specialized in chemical dependency, both with the patient and the institution. So I am a psychologist as well as a military from the Brazilian Navy. So this is a challenge for me to mix the two um, different vocations. SADEC, the creation of the Center for Chemical Dependency, SADEC, is a pioneer initiative of the Brazilian Navy unparalleled amongst the Brazilian Armed Forces. The research central objective and methods. The, uh, the central objective was to investigate the influence of the naval organization in the construction of the patient's alcoholism. So there are certain cultural aspects that we could uh, perceive that are very important in the construction of the alcoholism. Methods that um, I used. Ethnography in the SADEC, the clinic. Participant observation in two therapeutic groups. Open-ended interviews with 13 patients and a single case study. I will not present all the results because it's huge, so I select one aspect today to share with you. Some results of the major study, so that's not the issue that I am uh, treating today. The main result of the whole, the central study was the institutional issues participate in the construction of the patient's alcoholism. Further results, the existence of a double commitment of the SADEC, both with the patient's treatment and the institutional needs and goals. Therapeutic commitment. The therapeutic approach is based on the principles of the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous and behavioral techniques focusing on rehabilitation and achievement of sobriety. Patients are seen as responsible for their illness. The team usually states that they will never be cured. Military commitment. Therapists and patients are, in fact, committed to the naval system because the SADEC is part of the structure, the military structure. It is, in fact, an extension of their working space, a place where they share the same codes, rules, and language. So this is a different situation, I believe, comparing to other clinics in other settings, because as it's a, part, it's a part of the organization, military one, there are some specific matters that are involved that I'm going to explain you. This clinic partially reproduces the institutional view that blames individuals for their deviant acts derived from alcohol addiction. The SADEC must keep the administration informed about their therapeutic status. Confidel confid confidentiality is mostly preserved, but some aspects have to be reported, like absences, frequency, relapses, and dis discharges, because the military units 
they are tracking what's going on with their militaries. So they need to know what's going on. They uh, uh, go to their treatments and during the working hours. Results. What is expected and what is common, the subjects that usually appear uh, in a therapy. Certain subjects usually emerge along the therapy, that's common. Relationships, family, love, sex, financial problems, self-realization, dreams, obstacles, addictive behaviors and symptoms. The predominant subjects within this group. Topics that are predominant are discussed, are, they are related to the working journey. So, um, although we ex would ex expect them to discuss certain um, family subjects or relationship subjects, they insist because they need to discuss themes, themes about the working journey. Relationships with superiors, colleagues, subordinates, career complaints, failures, accomplishments, daily routine, maneuvers, deployments, heavy risk and boring duties. So they stick to these subjects. Crucial ordinary issues. However, ordinary issues may be central also to the therapeutic process, though they may be seen as trivial and be overlooked. Usually the team is not so aware about what I'm going to uh, show you. During, before and after the group sessions, for example, if the session begins at 7 and ends at 9 o'clock. So during, before and after this, this period, um, patients spend a time explaining the reasons for being absent, late, or withdrawals due to working needs problems and obstacles. So it's not um, something that they discuss during the therapy, uh, when they are sitting in a circle around um, uh, near the therapeuts, but they come closer and try to uh, present the medical waivers, duty rosters, anything that they feel it must be uh, presented to explain or to justify their absences. So for example, um, doctor, I won't be able to come here tomorrow because of some, some, something they would say. Or I was absent because of, in general, these uh, justifications are related to working needs. By doing so, they expose the peculiar aspects that they are facing that reveal the correlation between the medical condition, alcoholism, and the working journey. For example, I have missed the last session because Everyone had to prepare the barracks for an inspection. I know that my treatment is important, but the pressure in the battalion is great. My colleagues think I go to Sadek to avoid the hard work. Sometimes it's true, they go to this clinic to avoid the hard work, but not always. Alcohol and Navy. Liberation in the naval workplace is a cultural tradition. They usually begin, began to drink since their admission in the Navy. Every Friday is happy hour on board. In every corner near the battalion, 
There is a bar inside the Navy. My colleagues invite me to drink every day. So imagine people drink and working at the same time. Alcohol and daily tasks. The esprit de corps usually requires the consumption of alcoholic beverages among colleagues to execute tasks. Those who work embarked know the cleaning system, scrubbing and cleaning all day long when we arrive at the port. Then the chief distributes cachaça, like a room, to help, uh, to help us finish the job. The main subject, in fact, for them is Navy. They are always referring to Navy, concerns, desires, failures, disputes, and fellowships. It is like an addiction, both loving and hating it. Brazilian Navy and drinking practice are central themes of their lives, their first and major interests. It's very involving. I feel involved too, loving and hating it. Conclusion, the Jew commitment helps to understand the peculiarities of the organization that contribute to the emergency of this patient's alcoholism because we can understand that they start drinking when they enter the Navy, they, their, their drinking habits increase a lot because they drink in groups and also the institution make it easier to drink and sometimes they uh, distribute beverage so it's hard to overcome addiction in an institution that um, think it's a good idea to drink. Well, despite all the shortcomings of the naval life, the Brazilian Navy is a haven in the face of innumerable existing difficulties in Brazil. This picture I'm showing you, that I'm presenting to you, I'm trying to tell you that this um, sailor, for example, he does live in the slums. So it's hard to serve the country when the conditions of living are so difficult. They have financial difficulties also, and they face danger because of the traffic, drug dealers, and so on. So maybe alcohol and Navy is an uh, understandable, reasonable uh, combination. Maybe limitations of the study. Because the consumption of alcohol in the Brazilian Navy is an innovative and delicate subject to be studied, the SADEC and its patients were the best choice available. Well, in fact, this is the first study that was developed, and sadly, maybe the last one, maybe or might be, uh, because Although the institution helped, helped me uh, to develop and authorized me to develop it, um, it's a paradox, in fact, because they are not happy with this kind of study, not at all. Uh, they are not uh, interested in the subject, it's not their priori priority, and um, uh, I, I think that it's important to be here for you, to share with you this problem. So imagine the only, um, amongst the armed forces, Brazilian armed, for, armed force, the only one is in Brazil that has got this kind of clinic. And I must tell you that it is almost disappearing, this clinic. Now I am the chief of the uh, health department I'm trying to help the team to survive. Uh, they are only seven right now, trying, struggling to, 
to do something good for the institution. But their superiors, they hate this idea. Further studies with a larger sample should be carried out to investigate in which extent the institution contributes to construct the naval contingent alcoholism. Well, a larger sample would be more than good, but I would say that it's almost impossible. They only enabled me, allowed me to do this research because I am an officer. And I was the chief of the SADC once. And then I could carry this project on. So thank you and obrigado.